Hey guys, it's Jeff, and today we're going to talk about culturing phytoplankton. First, you're going to need a starter culture of phytoplankton. I got this culture from online from a vendor in Florida. After you get your starter culture, you're also going to be looking for some uh, F2 or phytoplankton uh, fertilizer. You're also going to need a syringe to measure out the fertilizer. You need some empty vessels or water bottles to work just fine. Take the caps, drill some holes in them. You need some rigid airline tubing as well as some normal airline tubing, a air pump, and some rubbing alcohol. First you want to start removing all the labels from your empty bottles. You can use uh, one liters, um, two liters, anything that, as long as it's clear and sterile. You always want to make sure that you're sterilizing everything with rubbing alcohol. So once you have your bottle sterilized, the next step would be to cut your rigid airline tubing to size per the bottle. You want it sitting just about on the bottom and have about two inches sticking out of the top of the cap. So you have something to connect your airline tubing to. It's pretty easy to cut. Uh, I'm using just a normal pair of house scissors to do this, uh, but you're going to want to make sure that you sterilize everything after. So I'm going to take this little bit that's left over and show you guys how to split a culture. Basically you're going to take a third of a bottle, this is a little bit less, um, but I figure it's better than just throwing it down the drain. Add some premixed salt water with a specific gravity of 1.02. That's kind of the middle of the road, you can go a little bit lighter, you can go a little bit heavier, but that's kind of like the target range that you're looking for. After you've added the salt water, you're going to cap it and put in your rigid airline tubing. This density level on this one is a little bit light, so it's still doing good right now. Uh, before you cap it, actually, you're gonna make sure that you put in the F2 or the phytoplankton fertilizer. I went a little heavy on the dose on this one. I actually put enough for a liter, and this is a 500 milliliter bottle that I'm using. Where it was so light, I didn't want to uh, give it the opportunity to die. So I put a little bit extra in there. And after you're done adding your fertilizer, or F2, cap it. And go ahead and take your air, rigid airline tubing and put it in there. And this is the setup of lights. You want to use 6500 Calvin lights. I'm using gang valves to have that many balls going. And your new culture is ready to split every week. So it's pretty easy, guys, if you're interested in culturing phytoplankton. I got some more information in the link below. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.